ready, it's goody. And due to popular demand, I am gonna open some Monster High today. This is the Student Disembodied Council five pack, which was a Target exclusive. What I love about it is it has a new character, Gilda Goldslag, daughter of the Golden Hind. We have Slow Mo running for president, or I guess he won president. Vice President Laguna Blue, social chair Cleo Denial, and Gilda is going to be treasurer, Sarah Scream's secretary. We are Monster High number one. Let's see, Monster High on this side. Hmm, pretty chains on that side, and some nice artwork on the back. And this is a suitcase. You can carry it around by the handle if you want. But I think it's time to get it out. Okay, let's get a quick look at the card here. It's a high school stage with the curtains and a podium here, I suppose, where they would give their speeches to run for office. <laughs> That's kind of cute. All right, I'm going to start with Miss Laguna here. <gasps> oh, it just feels so good to touch the old style dolls. She's got really long hair. Kind of golden blonde with some blue in it. It does have some like crunchy hairspray. The set did not come with brushes, doll stands, or journals. Her hair could use some love. It needs a little style or something. But her face is darling. I love her kind of purple gray eyebrows. Her lips are a little weird painted. Cute little freckles though. She's got a seahorse necklace and this cute little dress it has a little drop waist. And the old style fins. I know they do fall out a lot. That's whenever I can find them. I stash these so I have extras. And some cute little ankle boots. Lace up. And they are articulated knees and elbows and wrists. No earrings. And I love the old Laguna hands with the web fingers. So cute. So we'll do a vote at the end. Which one is your favorite from the five pack? So this is Laguna Blue. Next we've got Cleo. And this is quite a short little bob. I didn't realize how short it was. It's very cute. With red in it, which I have not seen for Cleo before. Makes her kind of special. She is super hairsprayed down. I mean, it's like crunchy, like it's like a basket or something. She's got some very bright turquoise makeup on. She's got a little choker around her neck and a one piece dress here, mummy wraps, a gold collar. Velcro's down the back. No underwear or anything. They never really come with underwear, do they? Yeah, there's Velcro's in the back too. Mm, no underwear. I mean, I know there's no underwear. <laughs> there's never been underwear. I don't know why I'm looking. I just like to look at the dolls. They're so cute. And there are her bright red pumps. We've seen these pumps before in Monster High, just in different colors. And you know what I love about this Cleo is unlike the new Cleo, she doesn't have that molded mummy wrap on her skin, which bugs me. Do you guys like it? Let me know. Do you like the molded skin or do you prefer like this? I am so in love with her hairdo. That is so cute. Okay, next up we've got Scara, and I gotta say, I think Scara might be one of the scariest Monster High dolls just because that no eyes thing is just alarming when you first see her. I've seen people redo her and then paint eyes on her, which is kind of cool. She's got green lips. Her hair is really silky, which is nice since the other two so far are really crunchy. And this little up side pony. 
No earrings. She does have a little bit of a pointy ear. But her dress, her dress, her dress. I am all about her dress. With these crazy mouths screaming, oh, 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 oh. That's kind of creepy and scary. I love it. Very Monster High. And she's just got kind of a basic white belt. And just a faint green tone to her skin. And she's got some very cute shoes on. I just adore the little strap around the ankle, the little buckle. Just changes the pump into a cute little shoe. I really like that. Ooh, she's got a little weird defect on her foot. It's got like a little hole in it. Looks like somebody put a thumbtack in it. I love her. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's slow mo. Look at his hair. It's like a wave. You could like surf that. I do love that he's got half real hair, which is very hairsprayed. Isn't <laughs> sculpted and molded. But I love the flocked shave look around the back and sides. It's just a cool design. His big chiseled face, his big chin. His face is pretty big compared to the girls, or long, I should say. Why the long face? He's got this cool purple shirt on. He's got kind of bluish purple skin. Mm, Velcro in the back. These pants, whoa. These are super bright. I think they're amazing. I love color. I think everybody should just Embrace color if you want to. <laughs> and he's got some cool little shoes. Oh, those are neat. Little spikes around the ankles or heel. Ooh, neat texture on the bottom. Always love a boy doll. Can't have enough boy dolls since they're far and few between. Hey, the time has come. <gasps> it's killed. Welcome to Monster High, Gilda. You are so gorgeous. Oh, I mean, I I think she might be one of my all-time favorites with those horns coming out of her forehead like that. And her hair is definitely sculpted pink. This, this weird faux hawk thing. I'm wondering, has anybody washed her hair and restyled it? I wonder what it looks like. I'm not gonna. <laughs> But her horn is really molded in there. She has these super cool elf ears that stick out. And then she has these awesome giant hoop earrings. Who doesn't look like a giant hoop? I do. And her skin is golden. I just love the shape of her face, even the way her nose comes down, little dots there, little lip, kind of neat profile. She looks kind of part elf, little bullseye on her patent leather jacket. And the jacket has three quarter length sleeves, which I love. And then let's see, is it a tank? It's a tank. She really does have this beautiful golden skin. I mean, she is Gilda Goldslag after all. And this awesome thick orange belt. Kind of look at her skin, her gold belly. And brown pants. This might be the most normal outfit ever on a Monster High doll. Not sure, what do you guys think? Can you think of a more normal, typical outfit. I mean, she's not normal, but the outfit is. So these brown, tight-fitting, stretchy pants, and then these amazing boots. I wish I had these boots. Those are gorgeous. That's just a nice accessory. I mean, I think that's what I like about the five packs is you get dolls that you can mix and match their clothes except for slow-mo and so it just gives you a lot of options for play. She's got cute little hands and fingers. <gasps> I just love her. What's her story? Does anybody know her story? I want to know. Her story is she has amazing shoes. 
That's our story. Well, I've got to say, I am loving the Student Disembodied Council 5-pack. Do you guys miss 5-packs? I do. I think the last 5-pack I was able to find was the original favorites. And I know now they've done the new versions of the dolls in, in a five pack. So I hope five packs are here to stay and coming around and hopefully Target will have a new exclusive at some point soon, which would be rad. There also came four little school spirit accessories, which I think is kind of weird that there's four when there's five dolls. So we've got the we're number one monster high thing, which I love that it's a monster with the claws. And then the little pennant flag, Monster High. And of course there's a little hand holder there and here so that your doll can hold it with ease. Hopefully, should never say that, huh? Maybe picking the doll with web fingers wasn't the best choice, I don't know. Let's try Cleo. There we go, Cleo for social chair. I like it. Let's try Swamo here. He's got to get in on some school spirit. I think he'd hold up one of these. This looks kind of masculine. It slides right over his fingers there. There we go. We're number one. We're number one. Number one. Number one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So we're going to vote. Do you like Gilda? Yes. And do you like Slow Mo? <laughs> Love. And Scara. Oh my gosh, they're so cute together. And Cleo and Laguna. I mean, what a treasure. All five dolls in one pack. Uh, I'd vote for Gilda, but Slow Mo is my second. And then Cleo is my third with her cool hair. And then Scara. And then Laguna is probably my least favorite, I'd say. So I'll do a little poll in the corner here. You guys let me know which one's your favorite. Were you guys able to get your hands on one of these awesome five packs? I sure hope so. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to subscribe for future videos. Bye for now.